Blue Sports always come first. This is Action for Sports. Two Valley football teams punched their ticket to the third round of the postseason yesterday. Three more had the chance today, including the Valley's best team, the 11-0 Harlingen Cardinals. But Action 4 Sports, Brendan Fitzgerald was with the Cards all day today in San Antonio, and he was witness to one of the most surprising games of the postseason. Brendan. Well, Clay, all season long, the question for this Harlingen Cardinal team, is this the one that breaks the barrier and moves past the third round of the Texas high school football playoffs? But they had to win tonight in Commander Stadium against a pretty good Del Rio team to just get to the third round once again. And this was a crazy game right from the start. We picked things up in the first quarter. Harlingen ready to go. They forced a fumble early and turned it into six points soon after. Kevin Ledesma doing what he does, getting in from six yards out for the touchdown. It was 7-0 Harlingen. Del Rio quickly tied the ball game 7-7 and then they were looking for more. Jorge Fernandez up top to Jordan Terrell who makes a great grab in the back of the end zone. 18 yards on the pitch and catch. It was 14-7 Del Rio. Later Ledesma flipping this one. Maybe the play of the ball game for Harlingen. Brian Blake catches it on the tip. Breaks a tackle. Spin move and he is gone for the touchdown. 53 yards in all but Harlingen trailed 28 to 21 at the half. Pick things up in the second half. Harlingen back out and guess who Kevin Ledesma again this time running in around the left side that tied the ball game but not for long because Del Rio had Jordan Terrell two kickoff return touchdowns in the game for the Rams this one put them up by four points because the extra point was blocked in return for two by Harlingen remember I said it was a crazy game so Harlingen down four with the ball in the final five minutes and yeah Kevin Ledesma gonna do it again getting around the right side and just sneaks inside the pylon to give Harlingen the lead with under five minutes to go and their defense made it stand Harlingen wins it 37 34 in dramatic fashion a rare win in that they played from behind or tied for most of the ball game, but got it done and coach Manny Gomez very relieved after the game. It's a sign of a, a great character. You know, the, the leader stepped up. Actually, I didn't, to, I didn't have to say a whole bunch at halftime. The leader stepped up and said we can go out there and play as hard as we can. No doubt, extremely happy right now. It's just full of joy. Adversity struck early. Everybody seemed down for some reason. But, I mean, our, our leaders, we, we picked everybody up, and everybody became a leader today after the game. And the Cardinals were a little bit surprised, and admittedly so, in the first half. A little bit shell-shocked that Del Rio came out, put 28 points up on him in the first half. But something to note, other than the special teams touchdown in the second half, no no scoring for Del Rio. The Harlingen Cardinals defense had held strong and they got the victory in the end for their team. 37 34 the final. Harlingen moving on to the third round at Kamala Amder Stadium in San Antonio. Brendan Fitzgerald, Action for Sports. Thank you, Brendan. Now we're on to the third round where the Cardinals will face the District 27 co champion, San Antonio Warrior, Warren Warriors, one week from today at Buccaneers Stadium in Corpus Christi. Now we know it'll be an early kickoff. We do not know if it'll be 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, but it will be one of those times. Buck Stadium in Corpus Christi. It will be Harlingen taking on San Antonio Warren.